What's going on guys? This is Lesky and in today's video we're going to be looking at this CDM build I made for FIFA 23 Pro Clubs. I hope y'all are all having a great day. The World Cup is going on right now so it's a great time to be a football fan. But looking at this build, we're listed in the CDM position, 6'4", 174 pounds. I wanted to make this build feel like more of a deep line playmaker build, kind of like Xabi Alonso or Busquets, something of that mold. Um, but then on top of that, we have very good physical and defensive ability, but the passing, the vision, the long passing, short passing are very solid. So you can make some killer passes over the top to your forwards or just start the attack for your team as a holding midfielder. So I like this build a lot. If you're going to be in the CDM position and you still want to help out on offense and contribute and make some nice passes, this could be the build for you. And also the dribbling is pretty good. CDMs have low dribbling, I've noticed, to start out, but I did focus on upgrading the dribbling so you can feel comfortable on the ball, which will help for playmaking. Um, so we're 6'4", 174 pounds. Preferred foot, that's up to you, and make sure you are in the CDM position. Let's take a look at the perks. With the first two perks on the build, it was a pretty easy decision. I went for both of these passing perks, Precision Pass and Threaded Pass. Precision Pass will help for those normal um, A and X passes, on Xbox and those X in square passes on PlayStation while threaded pass will help for through balls on the ground over the top all that type of stuff it'll upgrade your vision which makes your through balls better and both of these perks will give you the five star weak foot ability so you don't have to worry about what your weak foot is on the build when you're making passes it'll also give you the flare tray and the swerve tray so I really like both of these perks and making this build a deep line play deep line playmaker it only makes sense to put these two passing perks on this build and with both of them on and our passing stats are already really good on the passing page the passing is phenomenal and you can rack up some assists with this build and make some beautiful passes for the third perk you could switch this one out if you want some of y'all might be thinking this is a cdm build why don't you have any defensive perks on but this build already has really good defensive stats on the defensive page so I didn't go for any defensive perks and I decided to go for skill dribbler and making this build feel better on the ball. Like I said, dribbling for CDMs are just not very good to start out and I wanted to upgrade the dribbling a good amount. So even though we have the dribbling upgraded quite a bit, the dribbling stat is still pretty low on this build. So I wanted to go skill dribbler and then I'll upgrade it a good amount and make you feel better on the ball when it comes to dribbling. It'll also give you the flare tray. So if you want, you could switch this out for a bunch of stuff. You could go like tireless runner, physical strength could be a good option. Uh, chase down was probably one of the best in my opinion if you want to have a defensive perk. Um, interceptor, ball winner. So there's definitely some other options if you don't care about the skill dribbler perk. Feel free to switch that out if you want, but I would suggest keeping on precision and threaded pass. Let's go over to the skill tree. All right, guys, so looking at the physical page first, I went for the bull archetype to max out the strength on this build to 94. And if you're on the new gen version of the game, this will help get you the lengthy accelerate run style. But if you're on the old gen version of the game, you really don't have to worry about that because there's not any different run styles, um, accelerate run styles like the new gen version. So on the left side, you're just gonna go down to the bull archetype and then get this reactions. And then on the right, just get some stamina, plus five stamina to get it to 89. And then we're going to get this plus four reaction. Some of y'all might want to upgrade the stamina more. So if you want to take some skill points somewhere else off the build, then you could. But I feel like 89 stamina is pretty good for a CDM build. You don't need a whole lot of stamina. And 89 is really high, to be honest. So on to the defending page. As I mentioned, this build already has pretty good defensive stats. So that's why I didn't go for a defensive perk. 
And we have 92 interceptions, 94 defensive awareness, 90 stand tackle, and 90 slide tackle. I didn't max out all the stats because we definitely needed to save some skill points for dribbling, passing, pace, and then the physical page as well. So just looking at the stats, really what I was going for is getting everything at 90 or higher. Um, and this is basically the way to do it. We have 90 stand tackle, 90 slide tackle, exactly 94 defensive awareness and 92 interceptions. And we have that big body type six, four, you got those long legs and those really do help, uh, when it comes to making tackles, you have the longer reach and especially for sliding. I really like having those long legs. So with the high strength on this build and those long legs, you should be able to lock down a lot of players that try and dribble you one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, onto the dribbling page, like I said, I really wanted to upgrade the dribbling. So we almost have everything upgraded here because as a CDM, the dribbling stats are very low to start out, which is kind of sad. As you can see, with pretty much the max dribbling other than this plus two, we have 78 dribbling. It's pretty low and that's the reason why I went skilled dribbler so you can feel more comfortable on the ball. And as you may have noticed, I went for the five star skills. Feel free if you don't use the five star skills and especially as a CDM, you really don't need them. But for me, it's just a lot more fun and I like adding a little flair and skill into my game, even if I'm playing like center mid holding mid position. So feel free to take this off. You could upgrade the stamina, the jumping more on the physical page, the aggression that could be a good option or even the defense more um, really up to what you want to do with those five skill points if you want to take the five star skills off. But I have them on just for the fun of it. Um, and then if you if we take everything off here, you'll see how low the dribbling stats are to start out. 65 agility, 69 balance, 68 attack positioning, 73 bulk control, and 66 dribbling. So that's why you see I wanted to upgrade the dribbling a good amount. And it makes most of the dribbling stats pretty solid for a 6-4 CDM other than that literal dribbling stat. But again, that's why we have skilled dribbler. So let's look at the passing. The one stat I'm not too satisfied with on this passing page is the curve. It is very low to start out as a CDM and I didn't go for any upgrades on it. I could have upgraded it to like 70 or something, but I really don't know if you'll notice much of a difference. I would have rather had it in the 80, but if I'm going to do that, I would have to get like this artist archetype and then get all of these curves right here. And that's just way too much skill points. But again, those two passing perks we have give us the swerve trait, which adds a lot of curve and bend onto your passes. So that will make up for it quite a bit. So on this left side, this is just great value. If you're going to go for some passing upgrades, you might as well always have this. Even if you're a CDM and you don't really care for the crossing, you still get plus three vision for three skill points. And then on top of that, plus two crossing as well. So you might as well go for this. And then on the right side, we have all the rest of the skill points. You're going to get everything except for the short pass and this long pass. So we'll have 88 vision, 89 long pass, and 89 short pass. And remember, the 89 long pass and short pass are going to increase even more with the precision pass perk. So honestly, they're probably mid-90s or maxed out pretty much when it comes to short and long passing on this build. And then the vision will be upgraded as well. So it's probably high 90s on this build uh, because of the threaded pass perk. So the passing is great on this build and you do have the five star weak foot with for every single pass you make other than a cross. So keep that in mind. You can hit very good passes with your weak foot on this build on to shooting where I don't have any skill points. We're not focusing on the shooting for the CDM build, but as a taller CDM, I did notice that the shooting stats really aren't that bad compared to other years. Like 73 finishing to start out is solid. 80 heading accuracy, 75 shot power, 74 long shots, 65 volleys. I actually do think I scored maybe like once or twice with this build. So it is possible, even though the shooting stats aren't amazing. Let's go to the last page, which is pace. I went for the max sprint speed on this build at 91 and then left off the rest of this stuff. Three of the stuff right here on acceleration for 10 skill points, you get plus five acceleration. I felt like it's not really worth the 10 skill points. You're not going to notice much of a difference between 75 acceleration and 70 in my opinion. But if you want to, you could do that. You'll just have to take some skill points somewhere off the build, like the skill moves and then maybe something else. I don't know. 
Uh, but this pace really wasn't a problem, especially if you're on the new gen version and you have the lengthy accelerate run style that will help a lot, especially when you're running without the ball on defense and trying to like chop people down. And that's going to complete the build video for this deep line playmaking CDM build. Let me know in the comments if you give this build a try. Hit that like button on this video for me and hit that subscribe button on my channel if you haven't already. We're getting very close to 6k subscribers and that'll be a nice milestone to hit on the channel. So thank you guys for all the continued support. I really do appreciate it. As always, y'all have a great rest of y'all's day and peace out.